See, well, first. You uh, should not move uh, too much. Kind of this room. Yeah, yeah, you can't dance in the cabin. Uh, not much room for that. Okay, here we are on our first flight in this E hang contraption. Uh, we got some displays here. Just use our gimbal heading. We got a map, passenger facing camera. We got our first spinning up. One, two, three, sequentially. We're right airborne! Buckle up for an aerial survey of the Greater Bay Area with and without a pilot. We're starting off the first of four episodes, looking at what will be home to 69 million people in China's Greater Bay Area. An urban unit double the size of San Francisco Bay Area and a third larger than metropolitan Tokyo. It's all tied together with nearly 600 metro stations, transporting billions of passengers annually, three international airports, and thousands of kilometers of road, including the world's longest sea crossing. The distance between Hong Kong and Guangzhou, a little over 100 kilometers, is two hours by car and 45 minutes by high-speed rail. Now that's fast, but what would be even faster? Air taxis aren't new and have been around for decades a commute at an entirely different level, and enjoyed by a lucky few who can navigate the bureaucracy and with deep enough pockets. The first cross-border civilian helicopter ride between Hong Kong and Shenzhen only happened in June 2019. And this is significant, because it represents a breakthrough in the world's busiest airspace. Hong Kong's airspace remains segregated from the unified national system. It took a year to get approval from 17 different departments, including the military, for that ride. After billions of dollars spent on road and rail, the government is turning its attention skyward, loosening restrictions on the skies above the Greater Bay Area. That's all well and fine when the company's picking up the tab. But what about the other 99% who aren't CXOs? It's too expensive. Way too expensive. The wealth is here. If you look at this area, Shenzhen, for example, big IT companies are here. A lot of international companies in Hong Kong. 30 minutes, they can go anywhere in the Great Bay Area. Between the fuel, the flight crew, and all the moving parts, the costs for nearly everybody is simply stratospheric. It's been 77 years since helicopters first flew. Will it ever be within reach for the many? Ideas and helicopter configuration. Our closest shot to hovering to and from home comes after decades of drone development, and Ehang is leading China's effort to put air taxis into operation. Pretty neat. I mean, I don't think you're gonna be taking any conference calls in here, but you can do some emails, play some chess, listen to some podcasts, and can't wait to find out how much this is gonna cost. Our ultimate target is to make the drones uh, close to the cost of the normal taxi. So we should be about uh, at least one third or half. Uh, helicopter service with a plan to launch passenger AAV service within the end of this year. We understand that the Big Bay Area is a very big you know, potential market for us, so this will be our strategic focus in the future. Yihang's latest autonomous aerial vehicle can cruise at 100 kilometers an hour, and the whole Jetsons mode of travel seems very exciting. There's plenty of lift with Ehang's AAV rated for 220 kilograms and a range of 30 kilometers on a single charge. More than 2,000 test flights have taken place over the years, and more than 100 of them manned sorties. They're going to launch at the end of this year in Guangzhou. Yeah, would you go up and try it? Uh, if I have a chance, I would like to try it.
Yeah. 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 Probably not because I guess like um, safety is the first priority during pregnancy. Yeah. There's no pilot. Oh, so you auto guy, hey? Yeah. I'm getting out my own insomnia. Wow, that guy is not safe. There are people in your house who are safe. You can't get into a technology in a technology. Yes, we are always scared. How much would you pay okay. for a ride? Wow, a thousand. 我諗佢都要過一千蚊一次，誒一千蚊咯，一千蚊係啊！我深圳幾廿蚊去到噶啦喎，香港好快嘅啫喎，搭搭高搭高鐵。We're a step away from the Jetsons, and it's no longer a matter of when, but who will be the first to roll out. Whatever you see in the science fiction, like an air taxi, it's ready. It's pretty much mature already, so it's going to happen in the next five or ten years. Yihang isn't alone. It's a global race to the full rollout of urban air taxis. There's Uber Elevate in the U.S. and Germany-based Volocopter in Dubai. I think Great Bay Area actually going to lead in urban air mobility concept. In the whole world, you don't find several cities in the same region. The only hurdle that we have is how passenger feel, how safe it is. The concepts might have changed over the years, but we've never been closer to commuting at an entirely new level. Stay with us as we continue this series into how the Greater Bay Area better connects locales, people, work, and play.